Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this my YouTube channel. This is an educational channel for driving students. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all that are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Today I am hitting 491 subscribers. And I say a big thank you because by subscribing to my YouTube channel, you are giving me your support. And you give me all the reason to continue uploading educative videos for the driving students. Uh, I want to take also this opportunity to request those who are watching me for the first time to take a minute, a second, to press on subscription, subscription button to like and you can even share because if you subscribe you will be notified anytime a new video is uploaded without 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 what much i do i want us to go straight away to the subject of today the subject of today is we want to look at what we call defensive driving, which is being offered also at Valencia Driving School. <coughs> <coughs> defensive driving is being offered in Valencia Driving School. So I want to define what defensive driving means. And uh, in this video, I want to also talk about the importance of defensive driving. So, as a driver, whether of a car, a van, a lorry, or a bike, it is important to be aware of the potential hazards on the road and do what you can do to reduce the livelihood of an accident occurring. So this is where defensive driving techniques comes in. So in this video, I will outline what defensive driving means and why it's so important and provide you with a number of tips to help you improve your driving technique. Sorry. So defensive driving is about being able to anticipate hazards and act accordingly to reduce the chances of an accident. Despite its name, defensive driving isn't about driving more aggressively to award off other road users. Rather, it means using a variety of observational techniques to keep you and everyone else safe while driving. So defensive driving is all about awareness. It means being attentive to your surroundings, constantly using your mirrors to observe what other road users are doing and thinking one step ahead and, and, and about any upcoming hazards on, in the road. What is the importance of defensive driving? As a driver, you should always be thinking one step ahead. What potential hazard can you see? What might become a risk further along the road? And what other road users are doing that might affect you? Good observation skills will help you to anticipate those dangers and respond safely and appropriately well before an accident can occur. Observation is key to good defensive driving. 
unfortunately, you can't rely on other road users to always act safely. Which highlight the importance of defensive driving. Remember, to use your mirrors effectively and regularly, as this will help you to identify the position of other drivers, monitor your blind spots, and ensure that the surround the roads around around you remain safe for the maneuvers you need to make. Remember, driver always have three eyes two natural eyes and all the mirrors. So you must remember to use your mirrors effectively to see your surroundings and what other reducers are also doing. And uh, uh, okay. statistics says that in Kenya here, Many people lose their lives through road accidents. Many people are being maimed. They become incapacitated because of accidents. Their life changes. Their life transforms to the worst because of road accidents. Then some people maybe they were breadwinners, breadwinners in their families. They can no longer be breadwinner on their family. They can be. They, they now become a, a, a liability to their families because of accident. So, car. So, someone is killed or injured on the roads every 16 minutes. A majority of the road collisions involve at least one car. Between 2016 and 2021. Over 100 motorbikes riders were seriously injured every single week, two thirds of which was on rural roads. For motorbikes, pedestrians and motorbikes, for bikes, pedestrians and motorbikes, the most commonly cited reason behind collision always is driver, rider, Pedestrian failed to look properly. You, you have seen it, how it normally happens. Alongside improving safety, defense and driving practices have other benefits. No, two, not only do they help to keep you and other reducers safe from accidents, but they can also contribute towards further fuel consumption, better vehicle performance, and, re and reduced vehicle cost. This is because defensive driving techniques, by their nature, can, can cause you to drive more carefully and smoothly, consistently. So when you de de when you drive carefully, smoothly and consistently, you reduce the cost of vehicle maintenance. And then your vehicle will also waste consumption of your vehicle will also be big. Okay. The in terms of fuel consumption will be okay. Defensive driving tips and techniques. Defensive driving is important for everyone. Whether you drive to work or for leisure, no matter the type of vehicle you own. Listen, I want to talk about 10. 10 techniques, tips and techniques of defensive driving that will help you to improve on your safe driving skills. Number one, maintain a safe distance. Always leave enough distance between you and the car in front to give yourself time to react 
if there is a sudden break. So enough space between you and the vehicle in front of you will give you enough time to react in, in, in case whereby this person in front of you make a sudden break. A gap also gives you a better view of the road ahead. You see? You, 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 you can view the road ahead better when you give enough space. So you can look for the upcoming hazards. The Highway Court says to allow at least two second gap between you and the other vehicle in front. Number two, know your reaction times. Your ability to react quickly is essential to defensive driving. Note that your overall stopping distance includes both thinking time when you spot a hazard and realize that you need to react and breaking time on average at 30 meters per hour your stopping distance is the equivalent to the six car length 23 meters or 75 feet number three be aware of your speed if you are driving too far below the speed limit without good reason you risk being an hazard. You know you can be an hazard to other road users who may not perceive how slowly you are driving as they approach behind you. So don't drive too far below the speed limit. If you are driving above the speed limit, think carefully about why you are doing so and aim to change your attitude towards driving always think safely not speed listen to this always think safely not speed Number four, number four, mirrors, signals, and maneuvers, MSM, mirrors, signals, maneuvers, MSM. This technique should be used every time you intend to change your position on the road. Number one, check your mirrors. To note the speed and position of traffic around you, then signal to warn other road users of your intended movement. And then number three, maneuver where it is safe to do so. Number five, prepare, observe, and move. P O M. This is a safe driving technique. Should be used whenever you set off from stationary position, such as when parked or when stopped at a junction or traffic lights. Number one, prepare to move away when the road is clear. Observe other road users around you, then move away when it's safe to do so. So number one, you, you, you prepare to move away when the road is clear, observe other road users around you, then move when it is safe to do so. Number six. Mirror, signal, position, speed, and look. M S P L P S L. 
This driving technique should be used whenever you approach a junction, roundabout, traffic lights. Whenever you are approaching a junction, roundabout, or traffic light, you apply M S P S L, which is Mera signal, position, speed, and look fast. Check mirrors. Check mirrors for other road users. Check mirrors for other road users. Then signal using your indicators to make them aware of your plans. Position your vehicle ready to move. Maintain an appropriate speed. Look around you for the potential hazard. Number seven. Adapt to the weather conditions. If there is a chance of severe weather on your journey, then you should not you should need to you, you will need to take extra extra precautions. To protect yourself and other users, under uh, other users, for example, slow down in wet weather, as roads can be slippery. Only drive in snow and ice if it's necessary, <coughs> and be aware that ice can increase your stopping distance by ten times. And remember, use your fog lights if visibility is low. <clears throat> Number eight, check your attitude. Very important. It is unsafe to drive when tired or emotional or emotional. So check how you feel before setting off a road journey. Okay. When you are tired, you, 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 can't, you can't make judgment properly. When you are emotional, you don't think properly. So check how you feel before setting off on a road journey. To help manage tiredness, when you want to manage tiredness because maybe you are the only driver, you must just drive. Break off after every 15 minutes. Break, break of 15 minutes, take a break of 15 minutes every two hours and avoid long journeys between midnight and 6 a.m. This is when you are the least alert. If you are feeling frustrated, angry, upset, distracted, good defensive driver practice would be to pull off and rest until you feel you can give the road your full attention. Number nine, last but not least, understand the hierarchy of road users. The higher code hierarchy of road users uses, demonstrates who is most at risk on the road and who is most responsibility for reducing those risks. Those at the top of the hierarchy are the most at risk. Pedestrians, cyclists, horse riders, and motorcyclists. They are the, at the top of hierarchy. They are the most at risk. Those at the bottom of, hierarchy, of the hierarchy are least at risk but could, be, could cause the greatest harm to others. So therefore, more responsibility to drive safely. These are cars, vans, minibuses, drivers of large goods, and passenger vehicles. Then lastly, number 10, the Dutch research. 
The Dutch research is encouraged by the highway court as it increases your other road users safely when you are getting out of your vehicle. To perform the Dutch research, you must open your car door with the hand farthest from the door. So if you are in the driving seat on the right side of the car, you should open the door with your left hand. This defensive driving technique makes you natural, naturally turn your head to look over to your shoulder. As you approach, across, as you reach across, prompting you to check for passing road users before opening the door. So you check back to your shoulder before you open the door. They use your left hand to open the door of your motorcycle. So, until next time, I wish you a blessed day.